Hey designer, in this video we will see how to generate a 3D mesh from 2D image. In particular, we will use also Blender that allow you to generate image from your viewport. And there is a new software with ConfuEye that is uh, basically an app that allows you to generate without caring about how they install custom nodes. And also you can install a model directly from ConfuEye or you can install by yourself. And uh, there are many features. There are video image and 3D in real time that allow to generate with Blender. For example, this is as a, an example of uh, ConfuEye with uh, live portrait that allow you to make a different expression with uh, the character. And uh, finally, there is audio that allow you to generate uh, uh, audio clips and create uh, audio reactive videos. Uh, in particular with the help of Touch Designer, that is another software that allows you to generate the music with the help of uh, AI, or you can generate by yourself, and you can add as uh, an input with uh, artificial intelligence. And uh, there are also contacts, I suggest using uh, Discord, and also email, in this case. And uh, you will receive uh, an email with the possibility to install for Windows and there is a, a beta also for Mac now. So let's get started. Here is the software. So you need uh, to select the, the location, in my case it's document. You can see right here. And uh, it basically integrates uh, CMD or Termina in Mac di directly inside of the software. There are many custom nodes. So today we will install uh, uh, with the ConfuEye Manager. We will install uh, a Custom Node Manager here. We will install Tripo SR that allow you to generate 3D mesh from our reconstruction. So let guess install. Here you can see the terminal right here. So as you can see, it uh, installed Tripo SR. And it didn't need to use a restart, so we make a restart. So let's wait uh, about uh, triple SR. Then we need to install another node that is uh, for communicate uh, with uh, Blender by ConfuEye. ConfuEye Cap that allow you to generate between Blender ConfuEye and Blender Adobe. So let's let guess restart now. And then we need to install uh, the model of Triple Serra as is. It's available, in this case there isn't, but we can install inside the folder. So let's check triple SR uh, ConfuEye. Let's go in the official page. And then we need to scroll down until we find the load triple SR. And uh, you can place inside the model and checkpoints. So let's download it. And then we need to put inside the model folder. And then we need to go to checkpoints. So ConfuEye, models, checkpoints. And we'll, we'll put inside. So let, let's wait for the model to be installed. All right, now it finished. So we will put inside this folder. ConfuEye, Models, Checkpoint. Then we need to recreate uh, this workflow. This one. And uh, for this workflow, we will use uh, JSON as a extension. So we will download the workflow simple, JSON. Download row file. And then drag and drop inside. So as you can see, there is a load image, has an input, there is a model loader, 
that is model GPT. So we need to reload the page with Ctrl R, and then there is uh, the model ship GPT, and there is a crunch size that define the size of the of the model, and there is a geometry revolution. This is uh, the highest resolution at the moment, but uh, you can experiment with other resolution at the threshold. So we will create a side blender. So let's open blender. So we need to install another uh, add-on inside the uh, ConfUI. So Blender ConfUI. And then we need to scroll down until we find I go like ConfUI I Blender node. And here there is the um, add-on. So we need to install the, the add-on. So install from disk. Then we need to go here. And here is the Blender add-on. We need to change this part, port. It's uh, 8189. So we need to change 8188 that gives the official port and then we need to define the custom path in this case we will select our custom path that is this one documents configure then we need to go to remote server okay so to install the Adam you can find here, then we need to use the tip, and then we need to install from disk, right here, install from disk, okay, now, and then uh, make different change, so after you make the change, go right here, and it will appear, this icon, Coffee Custom Notes, and then we need to go to the second tab, Confui. Launch Connect Confui. And uh, you require a bit of time uh, to connect. So use a uh, local server oh uh, I see the error so it's a different port from the ConfUI web ConfUI desktop it's 8000 so we need to check 8000 Then it should work. Remember to insert it, the file. Launch connect. So now it's connected. There you can see it as a execute node tree. So it's working. Pending and running it's zero. So let's create the same node. So basically the add-on at the moment doesn't support the JSON. So we recreate it from scratch. In this case, we also uh, need to try with uh, input image. In this case, we will use uh, our viewport that is, uh, in this case, uh, the camera with a cube. Then we need uh, 3 points star, so shift A always. Flow with 3 points star. We need a model that is already installed, as you can see. And then we need the, another that is uh, model sampler. So we connect the first one. So the first one is uh, connected with this color. So yellow with yellow. So we need to connect now. Okay. 
then there is, there is the reference image with reference image. So that has input, this one. This is a uh, um, translator, and then we will have an output. And then if you have a mask, there is also a reference mask, but we will not use it at the moment. And then uh, the last one, that is a tripacer viewer. You can also search if you want. And in this case, we will use uh, input image instead of load image, this one. This one, load image. And uh, you can choose uh, your file. In this case, uh, as a viewport, it makes a screenshot by itself. And then uh, translate with the model and then go with the output. So let's try. So generates the preview, load, load the input, then translating, and then gives an output. In this case, this is the output. The final I output, but we can also generate other, other mesh. So let's make maybe uh, another Input. So, for example, this uh, this uh, main image. So, so we can have this image that is a tissue that allow you to do a similar model. So let's give a, a another model. So in this case, we will not use the viewport, but we will use the image. And then also, it show the image size. So as you can see, there is a triple SR model loader, sampler, and input image. So let's get started. Execute. And also, it creates uh, something similar. As you can see, we can go with cycles with GPU mode and see what it creates from uh, basically an image. So there is no no lights. Um, this one is not powerful. So let me let's make more powerful. So as you can see, is uh, the final model that is good. So. I think the maximum resolution is this one, but we can also try another one. So let's try. So let's try. So basically, in this case, uh, it generates directly from uh, the same image that we have. But in this case, it doesn't work. So the maximum resolution is 256. Uh, but you can also make uh, uh, with, with lower resolution, with threshold. Maybe we can change to 50 to test if it works. In this case, it maintains uh, the same model loaded and also the image. So if you change the image, it calculates again. So you can see that the difference from 50 threshold and also uh, 25 threshold. So, and uh, use it, you can use as a reference model. So as you can see, it uh, defined the mesh. We can also uh, make some adjustment with uh, some modifier inside Blender. For example, we can use a subdivision surface, for example, to give a more resolution to the mesh. And uh, that's it. So we can have the more resolution, as you can see. So we can also go into sculpt mode, for example. I also define the the main detail that that you can have 
So it requires more time because um, uh, basically the, there is also uh, AI node that uh, use a lot of power of uh, memory, particularly with uh, RAM. And here you can use all uh, different settings with uh, uh, brush tools. So as you can see, these are the final models that you can have. Hope the video is helpful and uh, see you soon with another video.